The next technology is Fusion Tables. This is actually a part of Google Apps. Fusion Tables lets you take geographic data, like uh, a city, comma, state, or an actual address, like a, uh, a street address with the city and the state, the zip code in this case. Uh, and it lets you geolocate that information on a map. So if I go to my Google Drive and create a new document, under More, you'll see Fusion Tables. Now you have to create a spreadsheet ahead of time that has your location data in it. I've already done that. I went out to Wikipedia, I grabbed a list of all the, the state capitals in the US, and I saved it in, into a Google Sheet. So I'm going to tell it that this is in a Google Sheet. It lets me select my United States uh, spreadsheet. It imports it in. I can see the data there. I click on Next. And uh, if I want, I can add a description. I click Finish. And that data comes into my Fusion table. Now, it's kind of hit or miss here. Sometimes Fusion table will identify a column as the column with the location information in it. In this case, it did not. If it had identified it, that column would, all, all the data would be yellow. Also, sometimes it generates a map, but because the, it doesn't think there's location data, it did not generate the map. So I'll show you how to manually do both of these things. If I click on the capital column, that is my location data. In the little drop down, I'm going to change the kind of data this is. So I click on change. You can see the type right now is text. I'm going to click on text and select location. That tells Fusion Table this column has my location data in it. So now I click on save. And as you can see, all that data turns yellow. Now I'm going to add my map. So I click on the little plus sign. And from the drop down, I'm going to add a map. As soon as I do that, it begins to geocode this data. It's finding the location, and it's putting a marker on the map in that exact location. And you can see it generated a map with the exact location of every state capital. The question is, which one of our state capitals is the furthest south? Let me draw a line on here, because those are really close. What if I zoom out a little? You can see that Honolulu is much further south than anything in the continental United States. Austin is the furthest one south in the continental U.S., but Honolulu is further south yet. So this is what it looks like if I just mark a city. I can also change the little markers to different kinds of icons to specify different kinds of data. So I uh, went out to ODE and grabbed all of the school building addresses in Ohio. And this is Hancock County. And if I were to zoom in on one of these and click on the icon, it will show all of the data for that particular location. And there's no limit to this. I could do the whole state. This is every school building in the whole state of Ohio geolocated using fusion tables.